just come a little closer so you can probably, doesn't matter how long, just focus on the face. Okay, so with our patient today, we are treating um, melasma. So if you, if you zoom in here, we can see um, the outline of this darker pigmentation here. She's got quite a vascular melasma as well because she has um, quite a lot of uh, vessels that are visible that correlate with the darker area of pigmentation. It's quite typical, symmetrical, mask-like pigmentation. And what we're going to be using today is a Picashaw laser. I've done a little small preliminary area. You can see this enhanced erythema here. Uh, we're using a 755 nanometer wavelength, which is much more melanin specific than any other picosecond laser available. So the key about a laser like the Pico Shaw 755 nanometer is that you're going to get the best capture of melanin. The other lasers that are in the picosecond range often have wavelengths that interfere with blood vessels as well, such as 500 to 650 nanometer range, which also captures blood vessels, and the 1064 nanometer range, which also captures blood vessels. And that causes diffuse trauma throughout the skin. The advantage of the 755 is we don't really touch the blood vessels, but we nicely hit the melanin and we hit the target that we want to hit without too much concomitant damage to the skin. And that's crucial in treating melasma, because if we're too rough with melasma treatment, all we'll do is incur a quick rebound of the melasma. So I'm happy with this initial reaction. There's a little bit of light frosting and now there's a little bit of erythema that has developed. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the 755 while we're doing a little bit of gentle cooling in the background. And I'll show you the way we're doing this. The laser's just warming up. And when we're ready to go, you'll be able to see how we're doing that. So if you come in, zoom in here, Debbie, you can literally see there's a tiny popping noise that is consistent with that photomechanical effect. And you can also see that I'm using a single pass painting technique to treat this. Madam, can you feel any pain or is it very uncomfortable at all? No, not at all. You can see when we get to slightly darker areas of pigmentation, you can hear a slightly louder photomechanical effect. And this is quite a superficial melasma as well, because you can see it's really nicely demarcated and the edge is very, very visible. And you'll be able to see slowly the area that I've just treated, the actual erythema will build up there and you'll be able to see where we've actually treated. So that's actually manifesting right now. And you can also see it just gets slightly, slightly raised as well. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat this pigment and then within a few weeks, she'll pop back and we'll have a look. Eventually what we'll do is we'll also do some treatment for the vascularity as well. And um, hopefully reduce this quite nicely and we'll show you some nice before and afters. Okay.